What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time, I'm reviewing the game King of Dragons, which was released in the arcade by Capcom. Then it was later ported to the Super Nintendo, I guess a couple of years later, as you know. And the plot of the game is that um, Gildress woke up from his sleep and he's trying to take over the, the kingdom of Maltis. And by, by becoming king of the dragons, you know what I'm saying? And there's a group of, of warriors that's trying to stop him from pretty much doing that, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, in the game, you pick one of five uh, playable characters, a cleric, a, a, a dwarf, a fighter, an elf, or a wizard, you know what I'm saying? Now, all of them have their own, pretty much, weapons and armor and stuff like that that you use in the game, but the only one that don't have any armor whatsoever will be the elf, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, when you, um, have your, um, weapons and, and, and um, armor and stuff like that, you can uh, pretty much level up through the course of the game, you know what I'm saying? You get, like, pretty much stronger weapons and, um... Uh, better armor and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you can uh, get like uh, gold and gems for like points and stuff like that. Plus, you can get um, magic crystals, you know what I'm saying, that pretty much take out all the enemies on, on the screen and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I also have like a meteor, thunder, fire, and jewelry and stuff like that. You that's pretty much one of the um, crystals that you can use against uh, like the different enemies that come your way, you know. And, uh, plus, you can grab um, fruits, and fruits, apple, elixir, and uh, some other form of elixir to pretty much um, to regain your health while you like take hits from the, from the enemies and stuff like that, you know. Now, um, King of Dragons do have pretty much 16 levels where you fight different creatures like um ogres, mummies, harpies, stuff like that. Uh I think there's some um mummies in there too. And the um now the lizard um dudes are the only enemies in the game that I'm aware of that um that has two versions of them, you know what I'm saying? It um pretty much Fifteen of the sixteen stages in uh, King of Dragons pretty much have a boss in them. You know what I'm saying? A lot with a handful of mini bosses. Of course, they all have specific strategies in terms of how you pretty much defeat them and all that. Now, the graphics and uh, level design of King of Dragons are pretty uh, good. You know what I'm saying? With some decent color palettes, um, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I would probably say it's color palette is slightly better than uh golden X for the second genesis now when i say that some people will um disagree with with that particular aspect you know what i'm saying of this particular game you know what i'm saying say no uh, uh golden X has the better graphics and color palettes and all that you know what i'm saying but you know what i'm saying this is this is my opinion on king of dragons though you know what i'm saying now, the controls and gameplay are pretty good, you know what I'm saying, but there isn't anything about them, per se, that um, makes it stand out, per se, outside of the fact you can upgrade the armor and, and uh, weapons and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. It has that, um, does have that RPG element to it, but at the same time, there's nothing that stands out in my mind in regards to the... Um, Gameplay and controls, you know what I'm saying. Now the soundtrack is pretty good, you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna be honest enough to admit that it is not as good as other games that was released on the Super Nintendo, like say uh, Castlevania 4, uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past, uh, Super Metroid, Super Mario World. I can go on and on, but but the soundtrack for King of Dragons. It is pretty good just from an overall standpoint, you know what I'm saying. Now, King of, Dragon, King of Dragons is a pretty good game. 
it's decent, you know what I'm saying? It's worth checking out for anybody who, like, never played this particular game before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can honestly say this is not the best um, Capcom game, <coughs> excuse me, to be released on the Super Nintendo, but it's, I say still, I would still recommend it to, to gamers, especially those who are um, retro gamers and all that. But as far as the score, I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10, you know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, if you play um, King of Dragons, you can mention it in the comment section. <coughs> now, if you um, think that it's not necessarily the best um, game by Capcom on the Super Nintendo, you can mention that too. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, if you think that now, if you if it happened to be your favorite uh, Capcom game on Super Nintendo, you can also mix that. Now, with that being said, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell button too for further um, video updates. You know what I'm saying in regards to my video game reviews. With that said, this is your boy Big Metro Fan Twelve signing off.